I want to make sure we have a video on how to solve simultaneous equations when they're both linear. So the method we are using for this is the elimination method. And the elimination method has four steps. So the first step, these are very brief versions of the steps. So I will explain further. Numbers the same. Second step is signs different. Um, third step is solve and fourth step is sub and solve. Okay, so the first step is to make the number the same. I always do y, okay? So forget about anything else, just look at these two numbers. So I need to come up with a number that I can multiply each of these by so that I end up with the same number. So I'm kind of looking to go, Three times what makes two times what makes, and I needed to make the same number. So, um, the obvious number is six. So I can turn a three into a six by multiplying it by two, and I can turn a two into a six by multiplying it by oh, sorry, three. Yeah. So that's kind of what you're doing. You could also turn them into a 12. So you can multiply 3 by 4 to turn it into a 12. And you can multiply 2 by 6 to turn it into a 12. So it doesn't really matter what you do in here. You just have to end up with the same number at the end. Yeah, because I'm trying to get these two yellow numbers, instead of being different, I want them to be the same. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this by 2, because that will make it a 6. But if I want to do that, I have to multiply the entire top line by 2. And then I'm going to multiply this by 3, because again, that will give me the 6. But if I want to do that, I have to do the whole line by 3. Okay? Oh, good. Excellent. Uh, so, the entire top line by 2 gives me 10x minus 6 y equals 24 and the bottom line that entire bottom line by 3 gives me 9x plus 6y equals 33 okay so my first step was to get the numbers the same and i have a 6 here and a 6 here so oops check. The next thing you have to look at is the signs on those numbers, okay? So in front of the first six, I have a minus, and in front of the second six, I have a plus. And according to step two, I need those signs to be different, and they are different, because the first one is a minus and the second one is a plus, okay? If they weren't different, we'd have to change them, but they are. So this I didn't have to do anything, is already done. Now I solve. So, you just do the maths. So here I have a plus 10 and a plus 9, and both of them are x's. So we add the 10 and the 9 to get 19, and we put the family back in. The second one is minus 6 plus 6, and if you do that in your calculator or in your head, you get 0. And that is what I was trying to do ooh, up here, it's elimination. Next is the equals. And then here I have a 24 and a 33, which I'm going to add together to get 57. Now, I want to get a value for x. To get a value for x, you have to isolate x. To isolate x, I have to get rid of the 19. And if you want to split a number away from the letter, you use division. 
So I'm going to divide by 19, which will remove the 19, but keep the x. But this is an equation, which means this is the left and this is the right. I have just done this to the left-hand side. So if you're going to do it to the left, you have to also do it to the right. And when I do that, I get 57 divided by 19, which is 3. So that is the solve step. The last step then is sub and solve. And that is where we take the first equation at the very beginning. So up here, the very first equation, which is 5x minus 3y equals 12. And I'm going to take the value that I just figured out and I'm going to sub it in the correct place. So we get 5 bracket 3 minus 3y equals 12. Again, this is, an, this is an equation. So I can identify my left hand side and my right hand side. I'm going to put my letters over here and I'm going to put my numbers over here. Okay, so this is 5 bracket 3, which is 5 times 3, which is 15, minus 3y equals 12. 15 is not a letter, so I need to remove it. So I remove a 15 with a minus 15. But if you minus 15 on the left-hand side of this line, you need to minus 15 on the right-hand side of the line. Tidy it up. So minus 3y equals 12 minus 15, either in your head or on your calculator, is minus 3. I want to keep the y and get rid of the minus 3. So if you're separating a number from a letter, you need to use division. You have to divide by exactly what's in front of the letter so that you get rid of all of it and only leave the y behind. But again, there is a left and a right. And if you do that on the left, you have to do that on the right. And again, if you're not sure, use your calculator. Minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1. And now I have subbed and solved. So that is how you do simultaneous equations using elimination when there's no squares. So both equations are linear.